This video will introduce an investigational treatment called imatelstat, currently in phase two clinical trials, in patients with essential thrombocythemia, ET for short, or polycythemia vera, PV for short. Imatelstat is designed to inhibit the enzyme telomerase, which is believed to have a fundamental role in many cancers. Imatelstat is an investigational drug, which means that it is not approved by the United States Food and Drug Administration, FDA, or any other regulatory authority to treat ET, PV, or any other disease. To understand the rationale for studying imatelstat in patients with essential thrombocythemia or polycythemia vera, we need to describe some of the basic biology of cells and, more importantly, cancer cells. Most normal cells in the body can divide only a limited number of times. However, a key characteristic of cancers, including myeloproliferative neoplasms, such as ET and PV, is the ability of the cells to divide without limit. Increased amount and activity of the enzyme telomerase enables this limitless cellular replication characteristic of cancer. To understand why, we have to look at the role of telomerase in cells. All chromosomes, which contain a cell's genetic material, have repeats of a DNA sequence located at the tips, known as telomeres. The telomeres function as protective caps to maintain the chromosome's stability and integrity. This is very much like the plastic tips at the end of shoelaces that protect the shoelace from fraying. In most normal adult cells, the telomeres shorten with every cell division. When the telomeres shrink to a certain length, the cell either dies by a process called apoptosis or stops dividing and becomes dormant or senescent. Telomerase is an enzyme that can rebuild telomeres and prevent them from shortening during cell division. While telomerase is present during fetal development when cells are rapidly dividing, it is not present in most normal adult cells. However, it is believed that cancer cells reactivate telomerase and maintain their telomeres, which in turn allows limitless proliferation. The overproduction of platelets or red blood cells in ET or PV is driven by the continuous proliferation of neoplastic hematopoietic or blood forming cells in the bone marrow. This phase two clinical trial is designed to evaluate the activity of imatelstat in patients with ET or PV. This study is enrolling patients who have failed or cannot tolerate at least one other treatment or who have chosen not to receive standard therapy such as hydroxyurea or anagrelide. The phase two clinical trial is an open label single arm study, which means that all of the participating patients will receive the investigational drug in Metelstat. For patients with ET, the clinical researchers and investigators will study how imatelstat may affect the hematologic response, which is measured by a decrease in the number of platelets after treatment. For patients with PV, the clinical researchers and investigators will study how imatelstat may affect patients' hematocrit, which is measured by a reduction in the percentage of red blood cells in the total blood volume after treatment without phlebotomy or other therapy. Approximately 50% of patients with ET have mutations in the genes for Janus kinase 2, JAK2, or less frequently, myeloproliferative leukemia, MPL. Approximately 90% of patients with PV have a mutation in the JAK2 gene. For patients with ET or PV who have JAK2 or MPL gene mutations, the clinical researchers and investigators will also assess the molecular response, which is measured by a reduction in the percentage of mutant JAK2 or MPL alleles detected in their blood cells. The clinical study is currently being conducted in multiple trial centers across the United States, Germany, and Switzerland. In the United States, there are centers in California, Texas, Illinois, South Carolina, Maryland, New York, and Florida. To learn more about this clinical trial, please visit www.clinicaltrials.gov for trial summary, the enrollment criteria, and locations of participating clinical trial centers.